In this video, let's take a quick look at geoid modeling, something new to Traverse PC and TPC Desktop 2019 R1 due out September 2019. I've opened up the uh, Learn uh, Geodetic program here. And you can see that we run one, two, three, four, five miles uh, west in this uh, project and then have this section that we run around here. If I'm working with a small survey area, um, a lot of people assume that the uh, North American vertical datum of 1929, uh, which basically says I can treat um, ellipsoid heights as mean sea level in a lot of places, works just fine. And I can always bring in my ellipse heights and uh, translate those to a known elevation. And for a small enough project area, be just fine. But if I want to bring in geoid modeling, um, uh, and particularly if I have a larger survey like this and have to, uh, Traverse PC now supports that. I want to show you really quickly what that looks like. I've got my point manager open. The points in black are generated by coordinates, and then I've also computed the elevations. The points in green here are geodetic positions, lots and longs, and have an ellipsoid height. And of course, again, I don't have any geoid modeling applied, so the height equals the elevation. Let's just apply a geoid model real quick and see how that works. I'm going to go into Survey Settings and Coordinate Reference System. So where I pick my projection and zone, all that sort of thing, I can also pick a geoid. And I'm going to browse the default folder and pick this uh, Earth Gravitational Model 96. The 5 indicates that it's a 5-minute uh, spacing on the, um, the grid, and then Traverse BC will interpolate between that uh, to generate the elevations. So let's go ahead and choose OK and watch these elevations over here in the Point Manager. OK, so this is what I expect out of geoid modeling, that uh, from this elevation, I compute a geoid undulation, and from that, an ellipse height. And they're about 54.8, 54.9 feet apart based on that Earth gravitational model. Here on the geodetic points, I've held a uh, ellipsoid height and computed an equivalent elevation. And you can see a lot of them are about 54.8, 54.9. But here's one at 55.47, 55.22. And that's kind of why I do geoid modeling over the larger areas, because it's not consistent always. Let's go back to that same location here. And I want you to notice real quick that um, I've cached the survey extents. So these are fairly large files, and I don't want to have to go in over and over again to access those. So I've told Traverse BC, based on the survey extents, read that GUI file one time, cache that for me. So now all of my computations of ellipse height or elevation can all be done out of that cached data. And then <clears throat> I want to show you real quickly that we have a default folder in the uh, program data called geoids, and we supply about seven different geoid models for you here to choose from, but you can add your own. And then uh, you can browse to any location and add your own. And then also, uh, this is a separate installation, so I can install it from here and get those geoid models, or I can also go into the program settings and under my license manager, I'll see those, those downloads for me as well. Let me just bring that over here so you can see it. So I went out to the License Manager for Traverse PC, and here's the 2019 R1. So I have the installer for the program, the optional PDF driver, and then this optional uh, installation of those geoid models. It's a pretty large file, so it needs some pretty good internet speed. I think it took me about two minutes to download this on my computer. And then that'll install the geoid models for you and make those available, available to you inside of Traverse PC. Okay, so just a real quick sneak peek at uh, geoid models in TPC Desktop 2019 R1.